Welcome back to New Market Arms. Today we're going to look at one of the last firearms produced by the Nazis at the Walther plant in Zellamelis in early 1945. Walther was a very respected small arms manufacturer in Germany beginning in 1886. The factory was located in and operated from Zella Melis in Thuringen from 1886 until 1945. After World War II, since the factory was located in the Soviet zone, Walther moved and began operations in Ulm, West Germany. The Walther factory in Zella Melis was captured by U.S. troops from the 11th Armored Division and the 90th Infantry Division on April 3, 1945. At this point, it's known that Walther had begun production of the C suffix serial number range, but it's unclear how far they'd made it into this serial number grouping. And it's generally under understood that early to mid C suffix AC45 P38s are the last Third Reich produced Walther P38s. Here's a photo of some American troops rummaging through some P38s at the Walther factory that were ready to be shipped to the German army when the Americans arrived. The AC was Walther's wartime manufacturing code, and Walther used it in a two-digit date on all wep weapons manufactured during the war. The AC-45 is, therefore, the last wartime code used by Walther. It's unknown how many AC-45 P-38s were manufactured by the Germans in the closing days of World War II, with the highest possible number under ideal conditions being 33,000. But as Buxton points out in his definitive work on the Walther P-38s titled, the P-38 pistol, far less, far less than this number were actually manufactured because of the rapidly collapsing Third Reich and the frantic demands for weapons. Based on this, Buxton estimates closer to only 5,000 to 10,000 being manufactured in the period. Now, let's take a closer look at the pistol. This particular P-38 is serial number 1735A as an alpha, indicating it was probably manufactured in February or March 1945. The left side of the slide, let's take a look here, it has the standard P38 on the forward left side with the serial number 1735A and then the AC45 stamped on the center line just above the slide release. The AC45 stamp is characteristically light as Walther was unable to continue to manufacture stamping dies as the war went down. Let's turn it over and take a look at the right side of the slide and you can see the correct three stamps indicating, indicating acceptance by the Wehrmacht. The AC-45 P-38 only kept all three stamps until early in the C suffix range when those stamps began to be left off. The first stamp, the leftmost stamp, is the Eagle over 359, which is Walther's wartime code, number code. The next stamp is the Eagle over a swastika, which is a acceptance stamp. And then the, the last stamp is another Eagle over 359, which is the Walther final inspection stamp. The slide, as you can see, uh, maintains or retains all the milling lines, which are characteristic of late war production P-38s from all, all manufacturers. And Walther was certainly no exception to that. So you can see those rough milling lines throughout. Now let's take a closer look at the barrel. Okay, let's take a closer look at the barrel. Start up towards the front with the front sight blade. And you can see it has a four there. That's the size, the actual height. And one thing I'd point out here is the gap between the front sight blade dovetail and the dovetail on the bottom, which is the, uh, the base. There's a gap there that never would have been acceptable to Walther inspectors or Wehrmacht inspectors. Uh, earlier in the war, but by 1945, that was considered totally okay. And even at this late juncture in the war, they were still staking, however, the, uh, the front sight. You can see where it's staked to the base. And on the left side, at the lugs, the front lug, you can still see the Eagle over 359 Walther stamp. And then towards the rear, 
is the Nazi Eagle acceptance stamp. Now there's, on this particular one, there are no markings on the lugs on the right side. On the nose of the barrel extension itself, you can see the matching serial number there, which is a partial serial number, 735 over A. And then let's take a look at the locking block. We'll pull it out from the barrel. And on the bottom of the locking block itself, you can see the matching partial serial number, which is 735 over a capital A. Again, at this point, they were using any and all dies that they could. So on frames, on barrel extensions, on locking blocks, you'll sometimes see suffixes, capital letters, sometimes lowercase. And on what would be the right side, you can see the Nazi Eagle acceptance stamp and the wartime numerical code for Walther, which is the Eagle over 359. Now taking a look at the frame, you can see the serial number here, 1735, and again we have a capital letter A suffix, and then right next to that is the Eagle over 359 uh, Walther Waffenamp acceptance stamp. The hold open lever is the late war type, which is simply uh, a smooth piece of steel. And uh, that was introduced in, in 1944 and it's not dished on the top. As far as the, the hammer, the hammer is, this still has the earlier type of hammer with eight shallow grooves. This would be replaced, uh, it was gradually being replaced at the time this weapon was manufactured to a simpler one with a three deep groove type of hammer. And you can hopefully see here, there's a plum type finish to the, uh, the frame. And that's rather typical of late World War II Walther P-38 pistols. And it was just how the bluing process was done and it, it wasn't done to early war standards. And the grip panels are just standard brown phenolic grip panels that were used um, Earlier in the war, it only has mold numbers on the inside. And there you can see a little bit of the, uh, the color. The magazine on this particular has a, uh, this particular P38 has a Mauser magazine, but the original AC45 P38s would have had, and again, this is a Mauser magazine. They would have had a, a similar stamp on, in fact, almost identical, a P38V over U. But on the spine, uh, where this one has a Mauser stamp, it would have had a Walther E over 359 Waffen amped. So that's what it would have been produced with the, uh, the P38. Well, that's a quick look at the Walther AC45 P38 from the closing days of World War II. These are very desirable P38s as there were very few of them made and it was the, the last production Walther ever had at their Zella Mellis plant. Thanks for joining me and please subscribe to the channel out here.